I'm going to recommend the select fire attachment and automatic fire again for the M8A1. The reason I want to talk about it for a little bit is because I've been doing that for all the automatic, uh, semi-automatic and burst fire weapons and I will continue to do so. The reason is that automatic fire is just better than semi-automatic or burst fire. The reason that burst fire is good is when you are at long range you have a lot less recoil and you can aim better and thus are way more effective at long range. And the same goes for the semi-automatic rifles. But when you have automatic rifle nothing stops you from firing like a semi-automatic weapon. So if you need semi-automatic fire you can do so. And the same is for burst firing. If you really ha want to burst fire you can do so. And I don't deny that the burst fire is much better at long range than automatic fire is because automatic fire of course has a lot more recoil. But you can still do that even if you have automatic fire. And that's why I will always recommend automatic fire and dusty select fire attachment for any semi-automatic or burst fire weapon. Now the M8A1 is <laughs> a very powerful assault rifle. It's probably, <laughs> I always say this, but it's very fun to use and it's probably the most powerful I've used so far. It has similar characteristics to a submachine gun, although it does move a bit slow, like when you walk around with it, well, see, I mean, on side it's a bit slower, and also the normal walking speed is slower than with the submachine guns. But the hip fire is quite good, so if you are at close medium range, or at close range indeed, uh, it is much better to hip fire than it is to aim down sight and try and aim because you're going to be able to evade the enemy whilst you are hip firing much better than when you are aiming down the sights and when you are aiming down the sights it's going to be pretty hard to follow the enemy walking about so hip firing is just a better option but at medium range I would strongly recommend aiming down the sights and using automatic fire but before you aim down the sights when you see an enemy initially start with hip firing and then start aiming down the sights at long range, of course, burst fire, because it does settle recoil between the bursts and you are way more effective than if you were to go full auto, in which case you probably will lose the enemy in the iron sight, so that I will recommend you use. When you are using an assault rifle, of course, you have to use cover. You can't walk around and try and evade the enemy fire because you are just moving way too slowly with the assault rifles when you are aiming on the side. So aggressively move from cover to cover and shoot people that way. But don't stay behind cover when you run out of enemies to shoot go to the next cover don't stay there. You also are very good at taking objective because the M8A1 has such a high fire rate you can easily take out multiple enemies that are running at the objective so <laughs> there's no real excuse for not going for the objective with the M8A1. The class setup is set up around being aggressive and also making the M8A1 faster and easier to use. When you are on an objective there tend to be a lot of equipment and lethal grenades and all sorts of stuff flying about so using flak jacket and tactical mouse will reduce the amount of stuff that can kill you and thus help you cap the objective. Now you are going to be aiming on the sights and firing and even from the hip toughness will help you as it reduces flinch and you flinch regardless of how you're shooting, so if you're hip firing, you're going to be flinching. If you're aiming down the sights, you're going to be flinching. So, toughness is just all around a very practical thing to have. Semtex is probably the better one to go for, as the M8A1 is an aggressive rifle, and when you have an aggressive rifle, you want something that blows up quickly that you can use in a moment of panic or indeed to defend an objective. Concussion grenades can be switched out for flash grenades, doesn't really make any difference to be honest. Uh, I just prefer concussion grenades because it makes it easier to shoot enemies as they walk slower when you hit them with a concussion grenade. A secondary would be nice but the M8A1 reloads very quickly so it's not that important to use and it also fires very quickly so you should easily be able to take out enemies in one uh, clip or magazine I should say rather. So I'm using three attachments instead of a an secondary. The first one is fast mags. If you are aggressive, it's better to be able to reload quicker than to have a larger magazine. So fast max is better than, well I feel that fast max is better than extended clip. Uh, I did use both for a couple of rounds and honestly I found that fast max was the better option. Quick draw handle just makes it faster for you to aim down the sights. 
which makes you more effective at medium range when you are doing the hip fire to aim down sight maneuver and of course at long range as well as you can aim down sight faster. So next fire was already discussed, uh, you have to use it as the burst fire weapon. So there you go, that's the class setup for the M8A1. Thank you for watching and until next time. Kill confirmed. Kill denied. Kill confirmed. UAV awaiting order. Kill confirmed. Shoot her down! Hunter killer drone ready for deployment. Kill confirmed. Get up and move! Counter UAV awaiting order. Kill confirmed. Let's go, let's go! Counter UAV inbound. Kill confirmed. UAV on standby. Friendly hunter killer drone deployed. Kill confirmed. Hunter killer drone ready for deployment. On your feet. UAV inbound. Now, moving to engage. Be advised.